So let's talk about putting wheels on your cars. Now, putting wheels on one side is pretty easy, right? Because you've got a flat surface on the back side that you can use. And then you can put each of the wheels in here. You can hammer them in, not going to have any problems. I do recommend a light touch and try not to blow out the channels. But when you need to do the other side, when you already have wheels on, if you were to just try and pound those in, you're going to probably knock these other wheels out of alignment. So I'm going to show you how to build a tool that's going to allow you to handle the wheels a lot easier. What you're going to need is a scrap piece of wood. It can either be a two by six like this. You could use a two by four, anything you've got laying around. And then you're also going to need a Forstner bit. Now we're going to go over to the drill press and I'm going to show you how we're going to drill these out. But basically what you want to do is you want to drill out holes that are bigger than the wheels, recess them deep enough that when you put the wheels in those holes that the bottom of the car rests on the board and that you can get both of those in there so that you have a flat surface again. So let's go on over to the drill press and get this built out for you. All right, we're over here at the drill press and now we're gonna drill our two holes. We've already marked where each of the wheels need to be. Uh, you can also drill a little outside of these to make it wider because sometimes scouts like to do different widths for their wheels. So let's get this going. Now we've got two recesses where the wheels can go in while we're actually working on the cars. Now let's go back over to our workbench and see how this might work. All right, so we're back at our workbench. And if we take a look at our car now and we put it in our tool, we can see that now the wheels are recessed, the car is laying flat on the wood, and now we have a sturdier solution so that we can actually get nails in for the axles for the other side. This is also really good to have on hand on race day to be able to do car repairs because uh, you never know when one of the scouts is going to come in, have an issue, and you need to be able to get in there. Now, one other issue that does arise with this setup is that sometimes there's concerns about damaging the car. So one of the things that you can do is in this area, you can use something like rubber, like I've got here. You could use cork if you've got that. And then you can just cut this out glue this on, and then you would have a softer surface for that car to rest on. And so now you're going to have less damage to that car if you do need to do any repair.